cities are made of migration. Historically, they were made of migration. They were important places where trade was going through and often where flows of people were going through. That is actually often forgotten, but migration made cities. So in a way, it's in their DNA. I think cities are emerging as a very important level of identification. I think it's promising in terms of diversity because somehow, first of all, integration happens in cities. So uh, it is the everyday life and it is where the challenges come and where local governments oftentimes, most of the times, they're more progressive in saying, okay, I don't uh, care, for instance, about the citizenship acquisition and change in the citizenship law, but I want to integrate my people in the schools in, for instance, um, you know, local activities, into civic activism, into voluntary projects, and that's very important. That is also another, I think, level of identity that can do away with a lot of the, the tensions of the national level. So, is this person a true French? Is uh, he a true German? Is she a true Italian? Rather say, she is from Milan, she is from Turin, he is from Berlin, she is from Marseille. Now, of course, I think the way you identify with your city has a lot to do with also your, if you want, ethnic and national register. So for me, in a way, this is a new thing that I'm finding through my research, because within my own Greek background, there was no space for, for cities. So it's not that you were an Athenian. I grew up, I was born and grew up in Athens from a family that has been in Athens for three or four generations, which is generally unusual. But it's, I never, there was no space in, in, and I think perhaps to the large extent there's still no space in the Greek National Register to say I'm an Athenian. But probably this is going to come as, as a result of diversity and migration and intermingling. Identifying with your city is more acceptable, both for the newcomer, whatever the newcomer is, but also for the local, so the person who is originally from that city for one or two or three generations, because it, it is validating more the, the everyday, the current experience. It kind of avoids the historical issues and avoids the legal issues. I think, of course, it's an idiom more for large cities. Perhaps it works, I mean, while integrations can still work well and probably even better in smaller towns, but the register of having a city identity is more difficult if you come from a small town, while if you come from a medium-large city, it makes sense to say, you know, I, I feel a Marseillais, uh, rather than to say I feel a person from a really, a, a really small, and probably it has a place in the world. I think city heritage does not really antagonize uh, national heritage or you know national uh, definitions of what is the dom or national dominant discourses about what it means to be German, to be Greek, or um, to be American for that matter. I think it, it really functions on a different register, and I think that that's actually what is promising. Try to think of yourself as a citizen, as an inhabitant of your own city and how you want to live your life in connection with that and hence then you, you bring everything together with this local connection and that helps also build resilience and fight alienation. Mm -hmm.